Third-ranked St. Thomas looked to avenge last year's NCAA quarterfinal loss to 10th-ranked Bethel Saturday in front of an energetic crowd at Royal Stadium. The Tommies got off to a shaky start on their first drive as Dakota Tracy's deep pass for Fritz Walbogle was intercepted by Royal safety David Vavra. St. Thomas responds to the early turnover with the game's first two touchdowns, this one from four yards out by senior running back Colin Tobin to give the Tommies a 7-0 lead. And later in the first quarter, it's Tobin again, this time from five yards out to make it 14-0. The O-line was excellent today. Uh, tight ends, wide receivers blocked excellent downfield. The defense was also excellent for the Tommies in the first half, holding the Royals to seven points and stopping them on three fourth down attempts. With minutes to go in the second half, Tobin breaks off another big gain to put the Tommies in position for Tim Albright's second first half field goal, making it 27 at half. Though St. Thomas was in the driver's seat early, Coach Glenn Crusoe cautioned the team to not slow down. Bethel would not crumble in the second half and instead comes out swinging. Quarterback Josh Ockrey almost breaks the keeper here, but Chinny Oji makes the touchdown saving tackle. Though the Royals drove to the Tommies red zone, they could not capitalize in the opening minutes of the second half. Our defense has been doing that all year, just stepping up when they when we need our when we need the defense and you know it wasn't anything different today. Ockrey would not be denied later in the third quarter, taking another keeper 11 yards for the score. Bethel rushed for 137 yards in the game, but the Tommies would answer back in crunch time with a Wall Vogel reception to set up Albright's third field goal of the afternoon. Trailing 23-13, Bethel attempted to get a quick touchdown, but junior cornerback Jack Gavin makes a one-handed interception to seal the deal for the Tommies. Have never had such a gratifying or satisfying win. Up next is Gustavus, where the Tommies can clinch the Mayak title with a win. In Arden Hills, Ryan Shaver, TommyMedia.com.